In this Exadata Cloud at Customer quick demo, we're going to look at how to create a backup destination within our Cloud at Customer environment and how to enable automatic backups on a database for that new destination. So the first thing we do is pop into our Cloud GUI once again. Uh, you can see here we're in the XSCC5 VM5 compartment within our Cloud at Customer environment. Uh, the first thing that we see is there are already a couple backup destinations enabled. So we're going to go ahead and create a new backup destination. We go ahead and we go and click on create backup destination. You can see here we can create a recovery appliance backup destination or a network file system backup destination. If we create a recovery appliance destination, it asks you for the connect string for the recovery appliance and the catalog user. We're going to create an NFS storage backup destination. So we'll give it a name, NFS BKUP1 for our NFS backup one. We click on NFS and then it asks us for the mount point for the NFS file system. So we type in our mount point and we are good to go with that. At this point, we can always add tags for reporting or auditing for this backup destination if we need to do so. And we simply click on create backup destination. And this goes out and creates that backup destination for us. This happens very quickly, uh, basically validates that NFS file system. And you can see here that we now have an available backup destination NFS BKUP1. At this point, what I'd like to do is associate my databases or actually go to a database and enable automatic backups using this new backup destination. So I go out, go to my virtual cluster and I see the list of databases. I'll pick a database and we'll go to that database. You see here P5DB0 uh, that has not have backups enabled as you can see under the backup detail. So we want to edit backup settings and simply pick our destination. You can pick an object store, you can pick NFS, you could pick your recovery appliance. If you pick none, it goes to a disk group. We'll go and pick our destination, enable automatic backups, pick a retention period and hit save changes. This goes out and updates the database. It actually will go out and create the RMAN scripts in the Exadata hardware environment. You can see here when I click on work requests, it says updating the database in progress. And like I said, it will be building those RMAN scripts for us uh, that will be used for the um, automatic backups. Once the database is updated, as you can see here, it now shows green and now it says backup destination. It shows us where that backup destination is and then it's enabled in the retention period. If we look at the work request, you can see that yes, indeed, it did succeed. So we know that this is complete and enabled and we will have our automatic backups started. Uh, we can go out and look at VM cluster, drill down into our VM cluster and see uh, the databases. We can pick our database that already had backups enabled. And once we do that, we can see, hey, here's a database with an automatic backup enabled. It's active uh, and it's in progress. If we click down into the work request, we can uh, see the status of this in more detail. So that's a quick demo for how to create a backup destination and how to enable automatic backups using that new backup destination. Thank you.